What's up, y'all? By now, you should know who I am and definitely who I'm with. How many times have I said this? My name is David and I'm with Max and Fix. You know, one of these days, I'm gonna open up this video with a limerick. I'm gonna make a nice little limerick and just go ahead and spit it on out. I'm not a rapper. I don't really write poems like that, but a limerick really excites me. All right, guys, before we get into this exciting one, because to me, this is exciting, um, I'm gonna ask what I usually ask you guys to do. Like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Don't forget, or to the channel, sorry. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and go ahead and hit the notification bell so you know what comes out next. Today, we're gonna talk about something exciting, like I said. We're talking about the alleviation of the chip shortages. If this can follow through to the price, to the pricing of cars, now we'd be in business, because Lord Father God. Without further ado, I was serious about the alleviation of the, 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 the car market because it needs to do something. Well, there seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, Apple has multiple sources of materials that make the products that we know and love in their arsenal. And two, in comparison, have different outlooks on the current state of the shortages Apple has been up against to make our products a reality. Uh, while Apple chip maker TSMC foresees constraints to last through the remainder of the year, Foxconn, Apple's biggest iPhone assembler, says that constraints that has plagued the iPhone production is showing signs of alleviation. That can start to show as soon as the second quarter of 2022, so Foxconn says. Uh, but what do they know being an assembler, right? This can be a positive indicator for a turnaround in the rest of the industry going forward. While small progress is being made, Apple has been able to bolster record earnings for 2021's year-end earnings report despite shortages of approximately $6 billion in sales. Now that's $6 billion in sales. If y'all were mad because your products were delayed, can you imagine how Apple felt because they lost $6 billion in sales? Huh? Though Apple hopes to continue to handle it with ease and more slight relief in March than, you know, compared to, you know, December. A long-term alleviation is expected and project continued revenue growth. I mean, if they've been dealing with delays and pushbacks for, for the pandemic and still been able to make record-breaking numbers, I mean, from here, I mean, I don't see them really going south. More recent headlines have been made that gives insight to Foxconn diversifying their business due to the chip shortages. While supply constraints seem to be alleviating slowly, semiconductors are still a sore topic for many tech companies. Currently, TSMC is Apple's chip supplier. They may be their sole chip supplier. Uh, so Foxconn's expansion could be beneficial for them as a company uh, and the additional relief Apple might need. Foxconn will be joining forces with oil to meta group Vedanta to produce chips where Foxconn will hold about 40% of the shares and hopes this boosts India's domestic manufacturing of electronics. This could very well be what Foxconn was hinting towards when they spoke of relief for the smartphone components as as the memorandum was just signed between the two companies, Vedanta and Foxconn. Talk about strategy, Foxconn looked to make significant improvements within its own company and target domestic manufacturing by teaming up with a chip production company. It's nothing short of a smart move. It, it's actually stellar, it's brilliant. It's brilliant because Apple is already working with Foxconn and Apple needs the extra components. They are about to hit another event in March um, and Lord knows they'll probably need all hands on deck. Though Vedanta will hold majority of these sales, this could be a win for everyone involved, including consumers to normalize purchasing habits and work past supply delays and restrictions. The tech industry is in such dire straits because of the lack of engineers and has moved compensation for these positions from handsome to gorgeous. And while the issue technically still exists, this was surely an innovative move to put Foxconn on a forward-thinking map. With March right around the corner, we can't wait to see how fast we get to see how these mashups and collaborations play a role in the coming months. Now, I mean, the news can say that this is about Apple. It's Apple's name is in it, but I think this is huge for Foxconn because I just think that the move was so smart. To expand their company by teaming up with a tech company that makes chips, uh, and to already be working with Apple, they literally played the middleman to get this done. I mean, that to me, that's mind blowing. I mean, I'm, I'm sure like stuff like this happens all the time, but I think it was actually really exciting to read. It was really exciting to find out about this move uh, and it was brilliant. I mean, you have someone who's already a supplier for the chips that work with Apple and saying, oh, we don't know. 
that we still might be going through a shortage. And then you got you got Foxconn saying, I don't know, buddy. I think I can help you out. Let me talk to my friend over here and let me see what we can get done. I'll get back to you. And that's exactly what they did. They said that it was gonna be alleviated and then they came out and said, oh, we teaming up with this company that makes chips so that we can get things going for you. Brilliant. I can't even argue with it. Y'all, if y'all found this exciting as it excited me, y'all drop a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell when you're through so you know when the next video drops. All right, my name is David, I'm with Max and Fix, and until next time, it's peace be with you. I am out of here.